There it goes. Welcome everybody. Thank you for making the time to join me. Um, this afternoon I'm going to go, well, the session is titled Building Academic Vocabulary and um, what we're doing is I'm actually turning around a session that I attended with Lead Forward. So um, I'm going to share what they shared with us and let me get started. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Okay. All right, can everybody see my screen? Yes? Okay. All right, so um, learning outcomes. Today we're gonna learn or go over how to prioritize on the selection of key vocabulary that needs to be taught in the content areas. So um, we have a long list sometimes that we need to teach of, of vocabulary that needs to be taught, but uh, sometimes, and honestly, in all honesty, we probably don't have the time. That's something that we always, you know, are in need of more time. So uh, we're gonna try to learn how to prioritize uh, the terminology that needs to be taught to the students. And we're also gonna go over the link strategy. Um, I don't know how many of you are familiar with the link strategy. Um, if you are familiar and you have used it, feel free to jump in and add to it. If not, I'm going to go over it. Um, to me, it was new. I had never heard of it. So um, I'm going to share what I learned about that, that strategy and it's, it deals with vocabulary um, so that students can learn the vocabulary better. So uh, let me ask you, what happens after students take a vocabulary test? And then from that question, let me ask you, do they still remember the terms? Feel free to unmute and share. Uh, do they own the vocabulary words that they just, you know, took a test on? Do they continue using these terms in class? What is the experience? Usually they just memorize it for the test. Exactly, most of the time, students just memorize, they take the test, and then a week or two later, you ask them, or you're, you're using that terminology in your discussions, and they're like, what does that mean? <laughs> so yes, for the most part, can you still hear me? Hello? I went out. I don't know if it affected anything. Um, I just came back in right now. I lost internet connection. Yeah, me too. Yes, we all got kicked out. Oh, then it no, was okay. Because okay. <laughs> <laughs> <Internet. laughs> okay. I was like, okay, what happened? Um, all right, let me share my screen again. And I want to make sure. Okay. So we were here, we were discussing how, um, okay, it says that my internet connection is unstable, ladies. So hopefully we're able to get through this session. Um, so what are some of the ways that we teach vocabulary? I know um, when I was in the classroom, I used to use uh, some graphic organizers. Um, what about you? Do we just give the students a list of words? And I know a lot of you are in the lower grades. So um, I know you probably would not give them just a dictionary and the list of words and find the terminology, the meaning, right, of the words. Uh, but, you know, a lot of times, some, you know, sometimes we do give a list and say, okay, look up the, the definition, um, write a sentence about it. And so doing the research, um, these practices are not um, effective or as effective or always effective. So we have to do more with, with vocabulary works. And we need to make sure that students go past memorization of the, of the words in order for them to really demonstrate that they know the language or the, the vocabulary. We mm -hmm. are gonna see students that they're able to elaborate with examples and details when they're explaining the meaning of these words. So, um, can you hear me? Yes, okay. 
please. All right. So how do we get there? How do we get the students to <laughs> let us know what a uh, vocabulary word means, uh, elaborating and sharing, you know, multiple examples, which shows that they truly understand the words. So one of the things that, um, that we need to do is, like I said at the beginning, prioritize. We need to make sure we look at the list of words and select the ones that um, we need to teach that are fundamental for what, you know, the topic that we're covering. We also have to have a plan and um, that's really our instructional activities. What are we doing with the students? After we selected these words, then what do we do with them? And something that should never fail, should always be part of your um, time, I know limited in time, but still uh, is game time. Students need to play with the, with the words, they need to own them, they need to feel comfortable using them. So again, um, we can't teach all the vocabulary words in every unit that we have, because obviously the lack of time. So when, we, when I say let's look at priority terms or priority words, how do I prioritize? Well, how do I know how to? And you need to ask yourself, is it conceptual? Does it have vertical strength? And is it a foundation for the unit or course that I'm teaching? So at that um, session that I attended, they said the goal is to teach at least three to five uh, vocabulary words per unit. I would say or per topic of study because um, maybe your unit is too wide, but you know within that unit you have subunits or you have modules that need to be taught. <clears throat> so I would say three to five and looking at these uh, characteristics to make sure they're conceptual, make sure they're, they have vertical strength, make sure that this is, these words are overarching. Um, they're gonna help students in other units as well. So um, I don't know if you're familiar with, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself, but I, since I put the link here, are you all familiar with the Lead Forward Academic Vocabulary? Do you know how to access that? No? Okay, that's all right. I will show you um, in a little bit. So still looking at prioritizing the, the words. We need to select words to teach that are important uh, component of vocabulary. I'm sorry. <laughs> Selecting words to teach is an important component of vocabulary instruction uh, planning. And the words, again, they have to be cover big ideas. Um, they have to be useful and important. These also have to be words that students will use frequently and also read. And um, I included this slide here because I want you to look at this part right here, the, the bottom uh, highlighted. It says words that, may not, words that may not be critical to comprehending a particular text, but are commonly encountered across content areas. We also need to select those words. Um, what do I mean by, you know, words that are not specifically to a content? Well, words such as categorize, process. So I'm moving on to the next slide. Uh, record, conclude, observe, relationship. These terms are oftentimes difficult for students because they're kind of abstract, but they are words that are used across content areas. And so not, you know, if you teach reading or math or language arts or biology, uh, you're not necessarily responsible for it on your curriculum, but in reality as teachers, we are responsible to teach them because these are the ones that don't really get taught. Um, so, and I'm not saying spend a whole lot of time on them, but just keep them in the back of your mind that these are words that I need to make sure students know. This morning, one of um, a, a teacher that attended the session, he, he was talking about collaborating and a lot of times kids don't know. I mean, maybe now more so if you do a lot of group work, um, but these are terminology, these, these are terms that students need to really know. So. Um, those are ones that you don't want to forget about, but again, we got to prioritize as well uh, based on our content. So um, what you're going to, what you're going to do is you're going to go to lead forward. And this is just a picture of what you're supposed to do. And since we have, a, you know, 
people from the high school and from the uh, elementary level. We're gonna focus on third grade for this time. So I'm gonna ask you to go, you can search lead forward. I'm gonna go back to this. Or you know what, let me put this in the, in the chat. Yeah, I found, I found something, Ms. Benavides, and I just put it right now. Um, it's the lead forward and it has like, it's like this um, skeleton, I guess, of it, of the content builder resources. It has the grade, the snapshot, the scaffold, the academic vocabulary. Okay, so if, if right you one. go to the resources tab, I don't know if you got to this page. Yes, that's the one I put in the chat. Okay, um, perfect. Thank you. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. So yes, what yes. you're going to do is on this first column, it gives you the grade levels. And then um, on the fourth column, it's the academic vocabulary. So what I'm going to ask you to do is we're going to focus in third grade just because, you know, we are from different um, grade levels and different um, content areas. So if you go to uh, third grade, I'm going to ask you to select or go all the way to multiplication and division of whole numbers. Let me know if you have questions, if you're still not there or if you need assistance to get there. Is everyone doing okay? Yes? Ms. Benavides, um, were we, I can't seem to be able to log on, but let me see. Do I use the same credentials like we do? Uh, you don't have to log in. You just have to go to resources. If you follow the link that um, I believe Ms. Rodriguez, no, Ms. Uh, was it Ms. Rodriguez or Ms. Garcia? Ms. Garcia? Garcia. I'm sorry. Ms. Garcia, uh, put in the, in the chat. Okay, let me... Were you able to get there, Ms. Brown? Yeah, you just search, you can just search lead forward. And then you click on either the first link or you could just click on resources. I usually go straight to resources and it takes you to that page that I was talking about. I know you can see Ms. Brown. No, yes, ma'am, I was able, I'm sorry, I was muted. Yes, ma'am, I was. I okay. Thank you. So when you click in, just go uh, to third grade and then click on the math. And I ask you to go to multiplication and division of whole numbers. So what I'm gonna ask you to do, I'm gonna give you about uh, three minutes. And right now, independently by yourself, I want you to go ahead and look only at multiplication and division, these two sections, and look at all the terms that are there, spe specifically the new to the grade level. So I want you to make a list. What are the top three vocabulary words you think need to be taught to the students? Top three. So I'm going to give you about three minutes starting now for you to come up with a list. Top three. And you don't have to put them in the chat, just write them down. Focus only on multiplication and division, and specifically new to grade level.
Okay, so I'm going to stop sharing. And uh, do you, are you all ready or you still need the 40 seconds left? <laughs> are we ready? All right, so um, okay, so what we're going to do next is you have selected the top three vocabulary words that you think are the most important ones. Um, hopefully you were thinking about, are they conceptual? Do they have vertical strength? Um, is this fundament, fun, fundamental for the, for the unit or the, the uh, topic of study that we're looking at? So what I'm gonna ask you to do right now is, I'm gonna ask you to go into um, breakout rooms. So I'm trying to see, it's 10 of 10. So I'll put you in groups of, um, <laughs> Sorry. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to put you in groups of two. And once you're in groups of two, I'm going to ask you to uh, go over the terms that you selected and see if there are any vocabulary words that overlap. And then after that, I want you to, from the lists that you came up with, if, you have vocabulary that overlap, obviously you're gonna keep that one. And if not, I want you to make a decision and come up with a new list together, a new list and select the top three uh, terms that you think are fundamental, they need to be taught. So let me go ahead and put you in breakout rooms. Um, okay. All right. Okay, hold on. I'm It's taking me a while because <laughs> let's see. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, there we go. Are you getting the message to go to the rooms? Okay. Hi, ma'am. Uh, you know what, ma'am, you're on. I don't know if you're on mute because it doesn't. I don't see it, but I can't hear you. You can't hear me. Okay, now I can hear you. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> All right, so let's look at the 